I am a huge Rocket 3 fan. Me and Greg did a comparison last year with the new Diavel V4 and the, I think it was a Chrome edition of the Rocket 3. We loved it. The Rocket 3 is like a massive, great, big, powerful Rolls Royce of a motorcycle. Well, for 2024, Triumph have actually come back with something I wouldn't say the Rocket really needed, but they've come back with a special edition. This is the Storm edition. And with the Storm edition, you get an additional 16 horsepower. This is now a 180 horsepower cruiser, but that's not the headline figures. The headline figures with this motorcycle is 224 newton meters of torque. Yes, that's right. The torque figure has also been increased from 221 to 224 newton meters of torque, and we've got 16 more brake horsepower. So we've got also got lighter wheels, a new 10 spoke wheel design. So if you're interested in the Rocket 3, especially the Storm Edition, then this is the video for you. So set yourselves down, make yourself comfortable, and Jopsy, roll the intro. Look at that, the Rocket 3, this new version, there's no denying, it's a striking, it's a strikingly good looking motorcycle. Now, I wouldn't sort of class myself as a massive cruiser fan. I do like a cruiser, don't get me wrong, and I've tried things like the, what have I tried in the past? The Harley Fat Boy, not for a long time. I've tried all of the Moto Guzzi big cruisers like the California and the Audace. Um, I've tried obviously, not the Storm version of the Rocket, but several versions. I've sort of conveniently made myself borrow Rockets quite often because I really, really like them. This Storm edition is like the ultimate evolution of the Rocket. You know, uh, it, it, look at the tank here. This, this, this like pinstriping on the tank, you can see this is all hand painted. So I will do a proper walk around a bit later with a proper camera. But this is an incredible bike. The Storm comes with this, like this all this blacked out look, the black exhaust, these new 10 spoke alloys, which are a kilo lighter, each of the alloys. And you know, this incredible two and a half litre triple. I mean, it, it looks incredible, this thing. The attention to detail, the design choices, it's just such a fantastic bike, the Rocket. And it's not like your normal big cruiser. This thing does have some performance, which I'll, I'll try and show you today as much as I can. But I mean, look at the size of the tire. 240 section rear tire. What a beast. Is this the, come on, tire? Is these the Avons? Ah, this has still got the Avons on. Apparently the Avons not manufacturing these anymore. So I think Pirelli Metzler stepped in and created a new tire. But this one's on the Avon still, so that may change. On uh, this is quite an early press bike, so the, the the other ones may not be on Avons when they run out of tyres. But the front tyre is bigger than some motorcycles' rear tyre. Look at the size of that big boy, and of course you've got shaft drive. It looks like a locomotive, the engine and transmission from this side. I love this thing. I love this thing. Let's jump on. Swinging your leg over. It's an incredible view, this motorcycle, you know, that massive tank, these flat, wide bars. You know, attention to detail. I mean, like the wires for the switch gear is run through the bars. You know, everything sort of run through the bars. It makes it neat, makes it tidy. Oh, it just looks amazing. Let's fire it up. When you rev it, oh, it's got a soft limiter. The Triumph Rocket now comes with a soft limiter. I can't rev it. Won't rev past 2,000 revs in neutral. Oh, we're not having that. Let's put it in gear. Oh, here we go. Look at that, the, the way the engine, the bike moves, you know, the torque effect of that engine. So large. Oh, it's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go. Bloody amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just so much shove, so much grunt. 225 newton meters of shove <laughs> and 180 horsepower. I mean, every time I've done a review of one of these bikes, owners always come back and say, yeah, but that's nothing 
with the tune you can like unlock massively unlock them triumph have been really conservative with the power output you know they've really detuned it and sort of drivers been listening they thought hang on a minute we can get more power at this engine safely and like i say they've chucked out another 16 horsepower now so even triumph admitted that this engine <laughs> was a little bit sort of reserved with its 165 horsepower or whatever it was before you know they've they've eked out a bit more so there's no changes internal changes it's all just for the mapping it's all just for the fueling and the probably the ignition they just they just let the engine breathe a little bit better and uh, yeah an easy 15 horsepower out of it i think if you were to get it mapped there's probably plenty more you could extract from this as well but another 15 horsepower i'm happy with that to get started with the weight of this bike is 317 kilos wet so it's not the lightest of motorcycles and last year the, the weight was, was dry so they, they listed it as dry, it as 291 kilos dry last year now it's 317 wet so i really got no clue if overall this bike has gone up in weight it might have done to meet the sort of new emission standards perhaps i know the wheels are meant to be a kilo lighter each but it seems weird the way they've changed the way they're measuring the bike which makes me think that maybe it has gone overall it's increased in weight a little bit Grunt! <laughs> wheels up <laughs> oh. riding the rocket is such an experience I mean, if you if you get a chance to go and test ride one of these i suggest you do i mean i'm not like i said i'm not a cruiser sort of person really as i'm getting older i'm appreciating cruisers but this is one of those bikes which i could really see myself buying you know it, i've got sort of top five bikes which i wouldn't I would really like in my garage and the rocket three is in that top five list of bikes i would really like in my garage if money was no object if i won the lottery there would be a rocket three in my garage and this new storm edition is just even more tempting with that little bit of extra power it's even more tempting i love the blacked out look i love all of that but what's great with the rocket is it does handle for a cruiser it does actually handle incredibly you can push on with it and you can have you can have fun on it because i was always worried if i bought a cruiser then you know a bit of a one-trick pony you cruise around but if you want to get a, get a lick on a little bit you know it could be a little bit boring but the rocket does perform you know, it does handle of course it's got incredible straight line performance but it does go around the corner where it's got shower forks all fully adjustable and i've not played with this i've just jumped on it you know i'm 6 2 20 stone as everyone knows and uh, this just fe feels to be suspended beautifully you know it's a big bike so you know you will obviously reach the limits of ground clearance and turn in and you know, all of those things you, you you will reach the limit and you can feel a bit of feedback from the from the tarmac you know it's not it's not wafting me along it is a sort of a sporty ish ride but certainly not certainly not overly sporty because see the bike it's moving over these bumps you know it's not just absorb absorbing it all it's putting it through to me i can feel what's going on it's a performance machine you don't feel like you're going to be in a hedge as soon as you come to a corner on this bike it can get you around corners there's two versions of the rocket there's a gt version which has more forward control so your, your feet are out forward a little bit you've got a bigger screen you've got a backrest for a pillion so, and i think the bars are slightly different they're sort of towards you a little bit as well and then this is the R version, which has the mid-mounted pegs. So the pegs are still forward. They're forward to your hips. The pegs are sort of in line with your knees. Peg, your feet are in line with your knees. Let's put it like that when you ride this bike. And you do have you know, your bottoms cupped in the seat, and you've got a, quite a lot of weight. You're upright, and you've got quite a lot of that weight in that seat. But I think that seat is actually pretty comfortable. The bars are massively wide. You know, you've got bags of leverage to manhandle this thing around and it's just a really you can't help but feel cool riding this bike in this position and i don't think it's all day comfortable but it's certainly comfortable for a couple of hours and then stopping you know it's pretty comfortable this machine overall i would say the thing with riding the rocket is everything just feels quality you know that the, the, the engine is just sublimely smooth you can feel a little bit of 
vibration but I mean it's two it's a two and a half litre triple you know that this is this would be considered a large car engine <laughs> not a load of motorcycle engine but it's really smooth obviously it's a triple they're, they're always pretty smooth no cross plane here <laughs> this is conventional triple firing order but you've got those big bars the controls are beautiful just the quality of the machine I think just shines through and it's you know it feels special in the past you know we've called this it feels like a Rolls Royce this bike a big powerful sort of Rolls Royce on a motorcycle <laughs> it is so fast when you open it up because it's so long <laughs> it's so powerful it just puts all that power down and you just fired forward at an incredible rate we will do a bit of a launch on this I'm gonna to have to launch it a little bit I think you know you shouldn't really have any wheelie on this because it's so long and heavy but it just puts that power down and goes Triumph actually claim at the 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds you know obviously done on a proper test track with a professional racer I'm gonna have a little go at just launching this just using 60 mile hour on the speedo in a minute and we'll see what I can do that in <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, should I do that mm. It'll be fun. Gears are sort of optional on this bike, really. You could sort of just leave it in fourth. And I pulled, ended up pulling away in third back there, not realising I hadn't changed down. And you can like pull away in third with sort of minimal, minimal clutch slip. And I say you want to chuck it around a bit. It's yeah, you can do it fine. It's got Stylema calipers up front. You know, really high spec Stylemas. But you're doing a lot of rear braking on this sort of bike. But yeah, it's you. You. you, you someone riding a rocket properly, you'd struggle to keep up with them. You know, it is a performance machine through and through. Try and reckon they've sold 18,000 of these new rockets since they came out. 18,000. I mean, I don't see that many on the road. I mean, obviously that's not in the UK. That's globally. But that's a lot of motorcycles, isn't it? Are these really popular in the US? For, for my American viewers, do you see many of these new rockets in the US or not? Because where have these 18,000 motorcycles been sold? You know, it's a very easy bike to ride. You can be super lazy with it if you want. You know, you can have it revving sort of 2,000 revs, 1,500 revs. You know, you can still open it up at that speed it's, it's not going to rattle your teeth out this thing doesn't know how to rattle your teeth out afternoon it's so smooth so easy to ride and i think that that's why it's so good because you can just settle down and just poodle along or poodle along should i say or you can open it up and unleash it you know it, it, it's a really interesting motorcycle. I mean, if you're going to do tight manoeuvres, it's quite interesting because it is very, very long. So, you know, it's got a, a, not much of a turning circle. I'm just going to wait for those cars to get away a bit and we'll have a little bit of a... We'll give it a little bit up the hill climb just to show you that it can... It can, it can do it. Quick shifter blipper is optional on this. This one doesn't have it. I'm not sure I'd want... People who've got the quick shifter blipper say it's actually really, really good. But I'm just not sure I would want the quick shifter blipper. Get your weight. You can't really hang out of the seat because of the position. But you can get the upper upper part of your body over. <laughs> oh, but it drops in lovely, though it changes direction lovely. I don't know how much ground clearance we've got here, but I've never and I've never had the pegs touch down. It seems to have a really decent amount of ground clearance as well. And you wouldn't imagine a 317 kilo cruiser would perform around the twisties like this does. It's really, really impressive. Obviously, you're not going to do a track day on it. <laughs> Obviously not. But I think what's important is it handles well enough to get your fix. Someone like me who loves to throw a bike around a set of twisties, you know, you can get that fix, you can get that buzz from doing it without just going, oh God, I'm going to put it through a hedge. You know, it performs. So you can have that feedback and that thrill of throwing a motorcycle through a set of twisties with this bike, which is impressive.
So here she is, the Triumph Rocket Storm Edition. Actually come down to Goodwood. We're actually a Goodwood Circuit at the moment. It's quite cool here. You can just come into Goodwood Circuit. You know, just, just come in and have a poke about. And there's obviously got the airfield over here. Just been a Spitfire just come in. You missed the Spitfire. But here is the Rocket 3 Storm. Now the Storm has all the blacked out exhaust. So it's, it's a blacked out look really with the Storm. So blacked out exhaust blacked out headlights surrounds all of the the yokes are blacked out as well and what is really nice with this i think is this hand painted pinstriping on the tank if we sort of come around here you can see you know you can see that it's hand painted but it's had a brush someone's brushed it with a paint brush you know so it's all hand and there's three choices of colors this is the carnival red and there's more of a matte grey and black and then a blue and black but I think that carnival red actually looks very very nice very very nice and then we've got those new 10 spoke alloys which also look incredibly nice one of the best little details with this machine I think is these rear footrests which just unfold like that I mean when they're when they're up you just can't you just can't tell there's any footrests there I think that's a really, really nice little design touch. Tail light also has like a full LED sort of tail. I really like the look of that tail. It's like a sort of the Audi LED strip lighting, isn't it? Not a conventional sort of LED bulb. Looks smart. Proper stitching on the leather seat. Of course, the bike is also shaft drive, so sort of low maintenance as well. So that's a big thing with this bike, isn't it? having shaft drive. You have these little aluminium caps on things. I think this one just hides the, yeah, that's the dipstick, look. That's the dipstick for the engine. That's hidden under like a proper aluminium cap. And you've got similar caps for your coolant and of course also petrol as well. But that's just a fake cap hiding the real cap underneath. Nice little details with radiator grills and oil cooler guards, all, all included the standard on this bike. And of course, up front, we have the Stylema calipers and three 30 millimeter discs Oof, that's some stopping power but there we go there she is the rocket 3 storm edition an absolutely gorgeous looking motorcycle let's jump back on okay let's have a little bit of a launch on this bike see what we can do i'm going to cover the rear brake i don't think it's going to wheelie but i'm going to cover the rear brake right, let's go for a little bit of a launch on the rocket I've never ridden such a fast bike that doesn't wheelie. <laughs> oh, absolutely puts that power down. A little bit of little bit of wheel spin. It's a nice warm day today. We've got sticky tarmac, so it's putting that power down. But I don't know what that was. I'll pop it on the screen what I measured it to just using the speedo when the speedo hit 60 so not that accurate and obviously not GPS calibrated or anything but that was probably pretty rapid I could have done a little bit I could have I might have to go again in a minute and just be a bit more aggressive in first gear that was the first attempt I wasn't sure how much I could dump the clutch on it one thing I do find with the rocket is at sort of 70 miles an hour motorway speeds because of your leg position your legs are sort of pulled out a bit by the wind so that's one of my other few criticisms with this bike it's sort of a little bit hard work on the motorway due to that uh where your position and the wind getting under your knees and pulling your legs out as you're going along let's try another little launch up to 60. traction control was lighting up in first gear it was definitely modulating power a little bit first I'm in the sport mode but I think it's more or less 60 in first gear <laughs> by the look of it there it's one of those bikes where you just can't help but feel cool riding it as well you can't help but feel everyone's looking at you and they're not of course it's all in your head of course but it doesn't matter does it that's how it makes you feel you feel special when you're riding it and again that's when you're spending that sort of money you want to feel special don't you and you absolutely do on this then when you're done with your you're chucking it around and you're laying massive darkies 
you could just absolutely poodle on it and just roll in the air. It's just so easy. Roll in the views and comfortable. It's just it's just a beautiful, beautiful bike. Something definitely a little bit special this. Two criticisms for this bike. I want to hear a bit more of the exhaust, which is not, not Triumph's fault. You sort that out if I bought one. And at 70 miles an hour and over, you get your legs blown open. <laughs> you get your legs forced open on this bike when you're going a bit faster. That's the only criticisms with this machine that I can come up with. You know, and I've ridden, I've ridden these a lot. Any excuse, <laughs> and I try to borrow a rocket. That's how much I love them. So see the low speed manoeuvring is a little bit, you've got to be a little bit careful. And the good news is the bike's nice and low as well. So it's easy for shorties to get their feet down, relatively easy. So you've got a low seat height, so even though it's heavy, you've got a very low seat height. Even the bar height, you know, it's not too high, it's quite a low, low and long is what this bike is. So it makes it reasonably easy to push around and, and, and manhandle. Even for the little feet, weedy fellas like TMF. Right Andy. <laughs> That's your shoulder. Now you want a bit of overtaking grunt. If you leave it about 3,000 revs, you'll be cat like being catapulted out of a cannon or a catapult. You leave it at high revs and... Unbelievable amount of overtaking grunt there. If you give it a bit of a thrash. To be fair, I can't really notice that extra 15 horsepower. Extra four Newton meters at all. It's so powerful. You'd have to probably directly back to back them to be able to feel any diff any noticeable difference. I can't, it was probably six months ago I last rode one. I can't. It's still it's crazy, but the old one was crazy. So it's very, very difficult to say, oh yes, it feels faster. It feels, you know, the throttle response and feel and the way it makes its power feels very similar to the old bike. I think maybe there's obviously a little bit more at the top when you're revving it maybe. But yeah, it's, it's crazy, it always was crazy. This still just feels crazy. So the Rocket 3 Storm Edition, this is just a very sort of quick ride on this bike. I'm hoping to get out on this again to bring you a few more bit of feedback about it but you know it's obviously a rocket it feels like the old rocket it's a bit more power there can you notice it <laughs> you know if you just stepped off the old rocket I'd say you probably could but it still just feels bananas handles as well as it ever did perhaps a little bit better with the lighter wheels but it's an incredible machine so if you're interested if you're like me you know, you, you like the idea of a cruiser, but you think you might just be a little bit bored. You might just be a, get a little bit bored with just cruising around and without having that fun and that engagement through a set of twisties that you get on a more sporty bike. Fear not, you still get that on this machine. So yeah, I, I suggest you take one out for a spin. See what you think to it. it. Doesn't have to be the Storm Edition. This one is fantastic, and I'd be really tempted It'd be hard not to, to, to hard to resist not getting the storm edition wouldn't it especially if it's just a special for this year with the hand painted tank and everything so uh, yeah but if you're interested in the rocket take one out you won't be disappointed it's an incredible incredible machine thanks for watching guys see you on the next one